Today, we're going to replace this fan in this car because the AC doesn't blow. It still works, just no blowage. So, we're going to show you how to put this in. So, back story is that we had to buy this so our son can get around because his Jeep is in the shop. Yeah, we had to Jeep. Fight with the insurance company yeah. later video. Um, this car's name is Jake, though. But, anyways, we bought it, and a week later, what do you know? The damn AC goes out. But we're going to show you how. Luckily, it was just this. And we're going to show you how to replace this. So you all stay tuned as we get into this. Okay, so to access the fan, you have to take out the glove box. So there is a wire right here. This just slides up and it drops out. Then you have star bolts that go all the way down on both sides. And at the top, you have to take these out. Okay, so right down here, once you get your glove box out, you have to pull this. This is also how to replace that light. And then you have a pin over here on this side. It seems to be hard to get out. There we go. And the glove box is out. Yay! Okay, so our engine, I mean our fan motor is right here. So we have to take this plastic out. This side, there's a clip in it, and as you pull this out, it comes, just slides out from the other side, and that is out. So once all that's out of the way, there's this plug right here. You just push this side and take that. And then you have, take out the screws on your fan motor. So taking out the motor is where you get somebody who's young and flexible under there. I guess I'm going to have a lot of fun when we're on the boat, babe. So in the world. Okay, so we did have to take off that strip to pull back the carpet. And reach up under here. It's falling out. Supposedly. There's probably... Let's see. There's a, and that's the fan motor right there for the fan. Ooh. And it just falls out like that. So man, that's a bear to get out. And you'll see the screws. It's got one against the firewall over here. This one has two right here and one at the very back. So there it is. Now we're gonna plug in and see if we can make it turn. Okay, so testing this out. This is um, your positive, I'm sorry, that is your negative right here. And then all these other ones are your positive. Can you see voltage? Yeah. So there we go. We're getting voltage on it. Okay, so I'm wearing my test unit as a wrist strap. It's like a pretty watch, so I can see it. Can you see it, Brandon? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to test and make sure that we are getting power here on the other side without touching them together. Just slide that all the way on. There, we have 12 volts. Okay, so I'm thinking the motor's bad. 
So we're gonna shut this off and replace the motor. <laughs> All right, good. It switched over. You gonna do it? Halfway right? in the Jeep. Yeah. Halfway in the Jeep. Yeah. And we're gonna stick this in the Jeep. Yeah. We're missing the Jeep, so. I mean the car. We're gonna put this in the car. So, what is this? This is a T20. Okay, so. When you get your new fan blower motor, it doesn't come with the resistor, so you have to take that off. And so you have to pull this thing off, and then you have to take, and there's these T20 screws, you have to take them off. impact much faster. Okay, once you get them out, you're going to take and you're going to pry your cage off. This has a, well, let's go ahead and unpin this guy from here without stabbing your finger. There we go. Now we'll fry it loose. Without breaking too much. And we don't need that one anyways. It's old. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's still fine. Ooh, that motor looks burnt out. Look at that sucker. It's got black soot coming out of it. Awesome. Then you have to do the same on your new one. Of course it would be uh, Phillips head. Oh, yeah. Screwdriver. <laughs> I'll just grab a screwdriver. It's easier. While he's doing that, let's have a drink break. I know it's Texas. We're in Florida now. Love Texas. Love Florida. Okay. And gets me to, makes it really hard on me. It takes so much time with one of these, these archaic tools. And this one doesn't have all the the nice Okay, we're going to use the old case to put this back together because it does have the plastic in here that holds it, the rubber in there that keeps it from vibrating. The new one doesn't have that. So, put that over and then I'm going to install the screws back into this. There's only two screws. Okay, then on this, you want to make sure that this wire goes in closest to the small plug here. Once there, you can slide the sucker on. Make sure the holes are lined up, which we're not doing. There's our holes. Okay, everything started, now we'll tighten it down. The motor's in there. And then we take and we plug this wire in. We're gonna plug it this way. Right here. And then we have to squish these wires down because we have to get the cover back on it. And 
And there you go. We have the blower mower installed. Now let's go see if it works. Okay, so now with the new blower in, we're going to see if it works. Yeah, we have blower. Oh, I'm sore. I can't move. Okay, so now our young son who can't move is going to install the blower mower back in place. Oh, this is going to be a pain. It's a pain in the butt to get in there. Which way? This one? Yep. It's basically going to be the reverse order of when you took it out. If it, I'm trying. It's, it's something's in the way. Oh, this wire, move wire, whatever that is. Hey, there it goes. There you go. It's in. Now you gotta get some screws started. All right, there you go. I pushed it in. Okay, these are all in. These are T25. Now with all the screws in, you have to put this pipe back in place and it goes up in here. This is a drain pipe because there is gonna be condensation in here. Then you finally have your plug. And now we just wanna test it to make sure it works. You ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Okay. Now we turn it off. Now we have to put the rest of the car back together. So there's a plastic deal that goes here. We have to put the trim back in after we lay the carpet over. And then the glove box. And we're done. Okay. So just smush this carpet back in place. There we go. All pretty. Now we need the plastic dilly. Okay, so put this in. We're going to put this side in first, right here. Then there's a guide in the middle. And, yeah, it's already popping in place. And that's it. It's done. So, on this, there's a little metal clip on this side. This is what we pulled out. But this end has to go in first. This goes up in here. So it goes right here. And then this slides back, and this wire has to be on top of it, because that's a light wire. And then we push that in place, and that is installed. Pretty easy. Now we have to put our glove box in place. Probably should have put this in place after our glove box, because it looks like it would be easier. Uh, there we go. Pull this over here. And the glove box goes... First you clip in the light. There's a light right there. There we go. And there's another wire. This one goes right back here on the back. Can you see that? It goes right here and it slides in place. Now you pick this up and you slide it up over. And there's pins and everything to hold this in place. And then there's two screws here at the bottom that you can put in. Where are the screws? Okay, and these are X25 as well. So let's put these up in the hole. You holding it? With my shoulder. Right, I'm gonna let go real quick so okay. I can grab you the tool. 
I'm sweating all over your car, Brian. I know. I'm not good. There we I go. I know how I'm supposed to put in those screws now. Lay down the towel now. <laughs> okay, now let's get some screws in the top. All right. Now we're getting the rest of the screws in around the glove box. Now these sides here, they just clip in when you put the, and then you just press screw in. These are T25 again. Okay, finally when you get everything done, you just put your little, slide your little thingy on. Did you slide on right? Nope, backwards. Okay. Yeah. There you go. And it holds your glove box in place. Now let's test the AC. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the key here. And we're going to see how this blows. Oh yeah, that, that's good. That is nice right there. We have this installed. AC is blowing nice now. So... Nice and chill in the car. And these things are only like 40 bucks on Amazon. Of course, we did have a, stay tuned for the bloopers. You're gonna see the problem we have with one of these. And we use the factory one because this doesn't stick on very good. The fan blows good, but the housing they shipped us in kinda of sucks. So we didn't keep that. And, but it works. And we can chunk this in the trash. Almost. <laughs> this like totally broke that into pieces. It's gone. It's it is gone. gone. It is gone. <laughs> also, guys, be sure to check out our blog. Wonderful recipes every week. And the last one, oh my gosh, that was so good. That you cheese, that every time. You know, that cheese ball, dill pickle cheese ball. Oh, yes. Make that for your lady while she's, she's sitting there eating the cheese ball. You do dishes and, and clean the house and stuff like that. Give her that Mother's Day she deserves. <laughs> What's she doing? But I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks like this. If you like our channel, subscribe. Hit the little bell. We are now at ten thousand subscribers. Woohoo! So yeah, you guys find this entertaining. I don't know why. Mm. But and y'all, please take care. Bye. Cut. Y'all stay tuned. And look at that. You broke it. I didn't break it. Oh, that's not even set. That soldering came right loose right there. So, yeah, fun times. Poor soldering job. We'll resolder this, I guess. Mm. Or we'll send it back. But you see, this motor is a lot more open than this motor is right here. Send it back? Yes. How long that'll take? <laughs> Well, what do you want to do? Resolder it? We don't have anything to solder. We have a soldering iron. We don't have any soldering thing. We have solder. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, pause that. Yeah. Wait, well, you got a solder in here? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to use the old case to put this back together. But, uh. No, we use. We're going we're gonna to use the new case. Put this back together. Let's see, does it stay? It's staying good. 
<laughs> I don't think it's safe, Dad. <laughs> Here, I'll hold. Mm -hmm. If they would have just gotten that right here, which is from your rock, yeah, they would have fixed that. This would have never have happened. This yes. is what we did on what was in our was there a truck? Cadillac. Yes. Yep. All the way up. This thing is gone. And look at this. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we have to replace this one here. And Bella's parking. Somebody else's dog. <laughs> it's not even ours. <laughs> right? It's not even our dog mm -hmm. this time. car to help support me. <laughs> There's like some kind of sticker right here. I know, I was picking that off. What was that? I don't know what was on this car. I need some goo going. Yeah. I'm going to clean it up and go nice and stuff. But so, got this installed. A got this installed. AC is... <laughs> 